Good evening, fit and healthy family. Good evening. I know it's been a while. I've been in deep in prayer and meditation and some fasting. Um, yeah, I've been really uh, working on preparing myself mentally for the uh, exciting time we have ahead. The reason I'm doing this post tonight, and this is just audio, no video, because I'm just not in the mood to um, be on camera right now. I have, uh, I'm at wit's end. I, I've had it with the deception of the media, also known as Operation Mockingbird. Look that up. You know, you've got the right wing um uh, arm of Operation Mockingbird with with um, uh, fake them out Fox News, and then you got the left wing version with the Criminal News Network and MSDNC. You know, and I I'm just I've had it with all of them. Uh, there was a video that was posted tonight, and um, November 29th, 2020, on WGN News Chicago. The title of the video, and I quote, activists say communities of color should get priority in receiving the blank, I'm not going to say what it is, you know what it is, vaccine. Let me repeat, the title, WGN News posted this November 29th, 2020, activists say communities of color should get priority in receiving the vaccine. The reason why this is so frustrating for me is that this pandemic and the disinformation and the deception from the media, from Operation Mockingbird, from both wings of it, okay, the right and the left, I've had it with both, okay, I've had it with the deception coming from both arms, okay, you have to really search hard <laughs> to find good quality information on what's really going on when it with regards to this pandemic. Operation Mockingbird is not doing that, okay? Let me back up. The reason I'm doing this, the media is not addressing the root cause of the problem, okay? Now, I'm a huge fan of everyone to prevent the spread. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, okay? I'm a big fan of, it used to be, stay three feet away from the next person. Now it's six feet. Okay, I get that. Socially distanced. I understand. I'm committed to that. I did not go and see my family for Thanksgiving because I'm, I want to be respectful. You know, I want to do the right thing for the community. I did not go and interact with my family and violate social distancing recommendations and guidelines. Okay. So we got you know, wash your hands for 20 seconds. You're going to stay six feet away. Um, you're going to stay home and stay away and quarantine if you feel sick. Since March, when this started, I have not felt sick. So I haven't had to quarantine myself for that reason, but I'm aware of that. And I'm committed to staying away from people if I don't feel so hot, okay? Um, sneeze or cough in your sleeve, okay? I, I get that. I'm committed to that. Okay. Um, uh, wearing a mask. This is something that changed. I remember watching Dr. Fauci on a video in April saying we don't need to do that. Well, now they're saying we do. I understand that. Um, one of the reasons that I understand that is because I understand that, uh, in terms of transmission, new research is showing that a lot of this is happening in the air, okay? And so now they're saying that we need to focus on ventilating. 
which is why, you know, you had the outdoor dining occurring and, you know, uh, they were encouraging, you know, bars and restaurants to do things outside. Proper ventilation prevents the spread and reduces the viral load. Okay, I understand that. But back to this video, activists say communities of color, and they were talking about um, people who are um, of uh, Latin Americans, uh, you know, Hispanic uh, Americans and um, African Americans or Aborigines or, you know, however you want to call us, okay, brown skin communities of color should get top priority in receiving the vaccine. Okay, let me get back to that. So the reason they say these activists were saying that we should receive top priority in getting the vaccine is because of the disproportionate impact that it has had upon our community. However, we need to address the root cause of the disproportionate impact. Bacteria and viruses thrive in human bodies with compromised or suppressed immune systems. Why is it that there are so many more compromised or suppressed immune systems within communities of color? How about we address that, okay? Why is it that no one is talking about that? What are some of the simple things that we can do to boost our immune systems within communities of color. How about vitamin D3? Vitamin D has been proven to boost immune systems. Safe, effective, you know, minimal, if it, maybe none to minimal side effects, accessible, affordable, why is no one talking about a vitamin D3 priority initiative within communities of color? How about zinc? Zinc is another supplement. It's a mineral proven effective to boost immune system function, to prevent uh, infection with bacteria and viruses. No one is talking about zinc supplementation top priority for zinc supplementation within communities of color. Supplements aside, what about food sources? Whole natural food sources. Why is no one talking about, hey, let's make it a priority to get the foods that are high in zinc and vitamin D3 into communities of color? Nobody is talking about that. Inflammation is something, chronic inflammation is something that has been shown to suppress immune system function. What are we doing in communities of color that really fuels the fire of chronic inflammation? Well, I can think of one thing in particular, and that is the high consumption of deep fried death food within the community. Deep fried food, eating it is highly inflammatory. And that has been proven. And over the course of the pandemic, the lines in the drive-throughs of the deep fried food spots within my community were long down the street and around the corner at all of the deep fried food dispensaries within the community. No one's talking about that. No one's talking about how sedentary lifestyles, not moving, not exercising, suppresses your immune system, compromises your immune system. No one is talking about how screen time Looking at the television, looking at your phone, sitting for hours on end doing that suppresses your immune system. 
There's been no public service announcement about, hey, you all, let's get outside and when the weather permitting, let's, uh, you know, get to walking, get in 10,000 steps a day, socially distanced, we can do it. If the weather doesn't permit, there's been no public service announcements about getting a good, healthy exercise in low impact that everybody can do, okay? Because I'm aware of the fact that the elderly are even more susceptible. You know, we don't want them doing high impact workouts in the house or outside that hurt them. But what about low impact exercise that we can do inside or out to boost our immune system function. No one's talking about that. No one's talking about healthy hydration with water, avoiding inflammatory, sugary beverages like juice and soda pop. Nobody is talking about any of this stuff. These are basic things that our grandmothers and great grandmothers are. I, I rem when I think about my mother, my mother is no longer with us. But one of the things that she taught me, <laughs> one of the things that she made sure that she implanted in me was the power of healthy food, okay? Healthy, all natural food. No one is talking about any of this. There's been no public service announcements about any of these things. What is the, and why is it that I know I cannot be the only one who has noticed a deafening silence from Operation Mockingbird, right wing and left wing media, a deafening silence on the power of exercise and nutrition, getting good sleep. There's been, there's not been enough talk about good mental health. There's not been enough talk about screen time. How about watching television? How damaging that is. Watching hours upon hours of the news has been shown to decrease the functionality of your brain that is responsible for logic, sanity, reason. When you do that to yourself, then the area of your brain that's all in its feelings, the emotional area gets overstimulated. And then you end up in either an anxious or like depressed state and I just read an article on NPR about how when you're in that mental state that you're now more susceptible to infection from bacteria and viruses. So watching television, watching the news, the destructive, deceptive news for hours on end puts you at a higher risk of infection from bacteria and viruses. I cannot be the only one who's wondering what's going on with this. This is this is not right. This is not right. I am all for sanitizing all these surfaces, hand sanitizer, hand washing, social distancing, coughing in your elbow and your sleeve, putting a mask on. But if you're doing all that and you're you know, existing on a diet that consists of pastries or cereal for breakfast, hardly any protein, fried chicken for lunch, and something else deep fried for dinner with juice or soda pop to drink all day and hardly any water, it's no wonder we can't stop the spread. We need to get back to the basics. And we, if we're going to talk about prioritizing communities of color because they've been disproportionately impacted by this, we need to talk about nutrition. 
exercise, mental health, the importance of turning the TV off, prayer, meditation. It is ridiculous that houses of worship can't have socially distant service, but strip clubs can open. That makes no sense to me. Home Depot, Costco, Walmart, all that's open, but you can't have a socially distanced church service where temperature checks and hand washing are mandatory upon entering the church. We can do all these protective measures. There's something therapeutic about prayer, praise, worship. No one's talking about this stuff. So I'm done ranting. I'm going to post this now and I'm, I'm going to look up some information and maybe put some links to some, you know, peer reviewed journal articles about uh, zinc and vitamin D3. And then I also put a link to that article that I read on NPR about the bi-directional nature of the virus when it comes to mental health. When you're in a state of anxiety, depression, frustration, any of those low vibrations from watching the news, from watching television, you're at an increased risk for infection upon exposure. So we need to we we need to get back to the basics when it comes to this and we need to stop hanging our hat on a vaccine as if that is the own that is the be all and the end all god gave us vitamin d3 and zinc god gave us healthy food and water god gave us rest prayer praise meditation worship loving each other there's something therapeutic about human interaction, hugging. And we can't do as much of that now with all the social distancing that we need to do. So we need to affect change in the areas where we can. These food-like products that have been just, we have become staples in communities of color. We need to stop this. This is not, it's not natural. It's not cute. I know about all the stereotypes. We need to let we need to let that go. Get rid of that. It's doing us so much more harm. So I'm done. I really am done. I hope someone gets something out of this. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're thinking the same thing. You know, this deafening silence, you guys, on healthy food, nutrition, sleep. You know, I, I just I can't be the only one who's wondering what is going on here. Mom, you said, mom taught me the power of cod liver oil. Do you all know what's in cod liver oil? Vitamin D3. Why is it no one's talking about that to boost immune systems? Cod liver oil loaded with vitamin D3. All right. You all be blessed. Have a good night. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.